So, um, Mary, okay, I'm going to go back to the beach for a moment. All right. What kind of clothes did you wear to the beach? Uh, I don't see no different than what they're wearing today. Well, you have bathing suits? Sure, we had bathing suits. What kind of bathing suits? Well, they're long, you know, mm -hmm. long bathing suits. They bathing suits. I wouldn't really think about going to water without uh, bathing shoes. Bathing shoes? Yeah, what you call the shoes you wear to go in the water? It's a name. Flippers? Whatever it was, we, I had them. Because I wouldn't put my feet right down on the sand. They didn't look like webs, like duck feet, did they? Maybe they did. Oh, they were more like a sock? No, no more like the first one. More like a flipper? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, bathing shoes. Bathing shoes. Wow, yeah, that's the sure. first time I've heard about yeah, those. Yeah, and what kind of going to store as a, a guy in there about bathing shoes? Let oh. me tell you. And what colors were the bathing suits? Suits. Yeah, your bathing outfit. Yeah, in black, the... blue, red. Uh huh. I don't remember seeing white, but I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't have white. Uh huh. But mostly blue, green, and uh, that was it. Did people sit under umbrellas at the beach? Yeah, they had an umbrella. Just a plain long umbrella, but now not like the umbrella they have today. Okay. Uh, you had your umbrella, you don't you? You would have melt then. <laughs> See, we would get down to, to the beach around 5 o'clock. We would leave Richmond at 5 o'clock. In the morning? In the morning. And we get there about two hours or more from Richmond to the beach. And we leave the beach at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's the time we, would, whatever two we have, we would get back to Richmond. Okay. And we made good money. My the boy I called brother, Lord, we would talk all night long. Mm -hmm. Then day we went to the beach, and he, we made good money. We went to my, but we didn't go down there but twice to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. He would look forward to every summer I was going, and most some other churches went down there too. Mm -hmm. And that was a, one way of uh, raising money for your church. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to go to a different black beach, not that one, where mm -hmm. would you go? I don't know of now. I heard yeah. there was a sea view somewhere around Norfolk or Virginia Beach. A uh, who? There was sea a place, view. a sea view, yeah, sea view. A little more down it now. Dan was down there doing it out time. Mm -hmm. And the only difference is the blacks didn't go over to the white beaches. It, it wouldn't be caught over there. Mm -hmm. But now, see, so you can go. The beach, both the beaches just open up. You go from one side of the beaches, it's white to the other side, which is black. Uh -huh. So you go any way you want. So you think that you could have been going to the beach, Bayshore Beach, mm -hmm. as early as 1920? Well, I don't know about time like that. But I can't tell you the time that uh, we went, what year it was. Mm -hmm. But uh, whenever they opened it up, mm -hmm. we were among the St. Paul, when I say we, we were among the first to be in there. Okay. In the line to go because uh, the boy that took care of all of that, he worked, to be on a train, and he worked at a uh, train in it station where they run trains out of. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would get a, you know, a big cut on the kind of train down there. And that's how we got in there. So mm -hmm. Every club in the city of Richmond would curb uh, scourging down to Buckle. Mm -hmm. But during that time, it was Buckle and the White Beach. That's the way they call it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't, didn't, didn't, I don't think they allowed no black people on the white beach. Mm -hmm. And then it got, you know, you, you know, you don't know the black from the white. They're all right together now. Do you remember anything, any particular stories or events that happened at the beach? Besides just going to the water and just having a good time and like riding well, down there? as usual, you know, they drunk and <laughs> cut up one another and beat up one another. Oh, really? Oh, man, that. Uh, in the daytime? On the beach? What they care when they got the whiskey and they drunk? Get them both way. The way he was at it, they won't fight you, they won't fight you. I'm married, I'm gonna give you this one to play with, because this one's making noise. Oh, okay, <laughs> but I, I thought I was talking loud enough for you to hear me. 
<laughs> I can hear you, but the camera might not be able to hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in. She oh. Oh, All right, I'm Alex good. says there's only four minutes left on this tape anyway. So. Uh, what did you want to know right quick? What? Right quick. Let me see. Um, What did great grandma, how, what did she um, do before about she came? Yeah, what did Virginia do before she came down to um, ha uh, Newport News and Hampton? What is she doing? She right always here? had a restaurant. Oh, okay. She ran a restaurant. I don't care where she lived. Uh huh. To sell. She would buy fish and stuff from people going to the beach. Mm. And she had the best fish in the city of Richmond. Who taught her how to cook? She was grown. And she had children. Oh. <laughs> children taught her how to cook. <laughs> so she, do you remember? Do you remember all these? Yeah, of course. Uh, Virginia, who you talking about was her mother. Yeah. Well. Well, so she, do you remember a name of a restaurant that she might have worked in? She in had Richmond. her own Jenny's restaurant. She in Richmond? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. She had her own restaurant. Jenny's, what street was it on? Um, Lee Street, I think it was. Like, I was on one corner, she was on the other corner with, with the restaurant. Okay. I think that was where it was. And so you both got the idea to work in restaurants at the same not, time? Not this one. Okay. I got my idea. I ain't never worked in no restaurant. I worked in a hotel. Oh, even when you made the sandwiches? The hotel. Oh, okay. I worked in a hotel. made a hip Oh, okay. Mm. All right, well, well I'm she's, she, uh uh, your aunt Sook or your grandma Sook. Her name is Virginia. Yeah. Uh, she would get you your money. Tell you, gonna pay you, you know, you never get no money. <laughs> I never did pay you. She got that. She could take all. You know, I want quite that big of food, and I got sick of that. And I went somewhere where they paid me. Lord, she could take. Well, you money. know what, cousin Louise said the same thing about Edith. That Edith and Virginia did that. They would have people doing favors for them. Do it, but I know her mama did it. <laughs> I bought my money, Lord, so many times. I ain't never got a penny. <laughs> See, I used to work in the laundry, Eclipse uh, Laundry. Mm -hmm. I worked there, and I worked in John Marshall Hotel. And between them two, I never had a dime. <laughs> when Sunday come, I didn't have nothing. <laughs> I was working at John Marshall Hotel, I think it was, and they paid me eight dollars and a quarter a week. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I didn't even have a quarter. I wouldn't think about taking the eight dollars. I know she had to have that. But just thought I could have had a quarter. <laughs> but the Lord has really paid me back. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that I can't have and do have if I want it. Somebody gonna see it, I get it. Mm -hmm. Even in the clothes, I don't know what it is to buy nothing. Mm -hmm. No shoes, these hats, these dresses, these pocketbooks. Somebody gave them to me. Mm -hmm. I don't buy them. And they look great. Well, they, they, they buy them, I wear them. 